And I'm back again uh, after four overnight shifts. I, I I didn't upload a vlog last week just because I was doing the overnight shifts and I was just uh, too tired to really do anything. And uh, I was also house sitting at the time and and the people uh, contacted me and said that they were coming home a week earlier than than they planned. Uh, and it just happened to be the same week I was doing the overnight shifts, so I had to get the house already for them when I wasn't working, so I, uh, I was pretty much either just sleeping or working on something. Yeah, I'm glad the, the week is over now, and, and now I'm starting on a uh, my mid shifts, which is going to be like 12 to 8, pretty much. So, uh, hopefully, I don't have to close anymore, or at least uh, I'll only have to close when they absolutely need me and can't get anyone else. Which hopefully won't be that much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, for all our night shifts, it was just me, uh, another guy, and the manager just frying up boxes of chips and then bagging them. And each of the bags had to weigh a certain amount because they're, they're picky about the chips so I had to weigh them and then make sure they were the correct amount and then time up <coughs> and so we did 25 boxes of chips each night and each box makes roughly 12 bags of chips so we ended up doing over 1200 bags of chips in four nights and hopefully they all sell, sell for the Super Bowl. Yeah, hopefully there's no leftovers. But uh, like when my uh, manager talked to me about me switching to the mid-shift, she uh, talked about, talk, well, talked to me uh, and s said that you know, I had done enough closings and that she wanted to give me a break from closings uh, and since uh, people tend to walk over all over me that, that yeah that, that's what she told me so yeah that kind of got me thinking about people walking over me. Walk all over someone. Walk all over. Treat in a thoughtless, disrespectful, and exploitative manner. Okay. That, yeah, that got me thinking about people who do that to me, and I guess that's kind of true. Like, like a lot of times when I'm closing, uh, the other person will just have me do 
all sorts of other stuff. Or, I guess most of the time, I'll just end up doing it. Because uh, some of the other people who I, I've worked with are either slow at their jobs or don't really do their jobs. So, so I'll end up doing uh, much of the work. Uh, to, just so we're not stuck at work past midnight and we can get out at a reasonable hour. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what end up, end up happening a lot of times. And I guess I was pretty much the only good closer that they had because whenever because on the days uh, I was doing the overnight shifts, uh, the the three of us would come into the theater, theater, no deli, uh, after it was closed, and every day we found something that they didn't do uh, that they were supposed to, like like we found dirty dishes and. Uh, other stuff that wasn't cleaned properly or or wasn't put away and should have you know, it was like that every day we came in to do our overnight shifts so the other closers uh, weren't doing their job when I'm not there yeah so we'll see what happens with the new closers now that I'm on the mid shifts and I guess since I'm the only mid-shift uh, person, then people can't walk all over me. And I, I guess I do have a problem with saying no to people when they ask me to do something. I mean, I, I don't want to do it, but I feel like I have to do it, like, with work. Yeah. Uh, they ask me to do something even though I don't really want to do it but uh, I have to do it because it's my job and so I'll, I'll just say yeah I'll do it but but I'm, I'm not going to enjoy it <laughs> or or I just guess I can't come up with a good a uh, reason not to do it besides I don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one one reason I have a hard time saying no. The easiest way for me to say no is if the person gives me the option that I can say no. Like if they say if if they tell me you don't have to do it if you don't want to, then, then I'll say I don't want to do it. Yeah, th yeah, that, that's the easiest way for me to say no to someone. So that's going to be it for this vlog. And until next time, goodbye. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you.